We are now in the new age of America's Cup racing. We are not floating, we're flying. The new AC75 racing boats will reach 60 miles an hour with no engine, traveling up to four times the speed of the wind. Lift is the same force a plane uses under its wings to take off and maintain flight. We want to foil because pushing a boat through water is harder than through air. So how do we get the boat up in the air and out of the water? We use exactly the same technology as an aircraft wing. Just as an aircraft wing will lift a plane up off the ground, the foils of an America's Cup boat will lift it out of the water. The foils of our America's Cup boat are more accurately called hydrofoils because they work in the water. The secret to both of them is the shape. Aerofoils and hydrofoils use their shape to guide the wind or water around them to generate the lifting force to get the planes or boats in the air. The double-skinned soft wing cell is our engine. The force it generates to move the boat at breakneck speeds is thrust. It works exactly the same way as an aircraft wing. It's just rotated to stand straight up rather than laid down flat. As the wind flows over the sail, it generates thrust in a forward direction. An aircraft needs an engine to push the air over its wings fast enough to lift it off the ground. The wing sail on our America's Cup race boat generates thrust from the natural wind blowing past it. The more the wind blows, the more we can catch to turn into thrust to push the boat forwards. When the boat's going fast enough, the hydrofoils will then be able to create lift to get the boat out of the water. And there you have it, the boat that flies. <laughs>